Hello, dear listeners, and welcome to the Max Solar Online Academy interview series. I'm very happy today that Musa agreed to be interviewed by me and tell us all about his experience of being part of our solar intermediate course on grid connected system, 100 kilowatt peak, rooftop mounted. And thank you, Musa, to, for taking time out of your busy schedule to do that interview with me. Please introduce yourself briefly. What is your name, place of birth, where are you currently living, what is your age, and what are you currently doing? Yeah, first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Musaba. I am born uh, from a village called Saba, North Bank region of the Gambia. So Gambia is in, uh, in West Africa. So I am currently in Latikunda Savage, that is in the urban center. So I am uh, 22 years old. I am currently studying electrical installation in GTTI, Gambia Technical Training Institute. Very interesting. So please tell us more. Why did you choose the specific training institute, GTTI, and the course electrical, what did you say, electrical engineering? Electrical installation, yeah. Installation, yeah. Go ahead. Why did you why did you choose this specific training institute and course? Yeah, this thing we have to start from my childhood. Uh, at that time, so when I was playing, I was very interested in uh, playing with these uh, uh, electrical things, uh, electrical equipments. Like mm -hmm. uh, I used to be playing. Uh, I'm very dexterous in making this toy cars. Uh, from sometimes from uh, cutting, sometimes from when I when I made those things. So I will try and fix lights on them so the lights will be blue. So I'd be very happy how those lights are working. So that is why I'm very interested in electrical 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 so the moment i successfully completed my senior school uh, at the uh, rural area so i then proceed to the urban center that is uh, in the latikuna mm -hmm. combo here mm -hmm. in 2018 mm -hmm. 2018 so the moment i came here in 2018 so i started working on the apprenticeship on the, a person called Pabakar. so that is he is uh, an electrician Yes, he do electrical installation, satellite installation, and also uh, repair of the, this electrical uh, equipment. So that is where I, I was working on the, that part in. So until 2019, so I went to work to a, a, someone. So that guy asked me of my results. I told him my results, what I got at the senior school. So he told mm -hmm. me that you should be at, you should be the uh, school. You should be mm -hmm. going, you should further your education not stop at this level. So I told the person that, yeah, that is a good idea. But now I'm not, I don't have any, I don't have any like uh, thinking of furthering my education. So he told me that, yes, I will try and then help you to further your education. So then that is how I told him that me, I am interested in electrical. So that is the time I choose uh, GDTI. Mm -hmm. So I started GDTI in 2020, 2021. So the person who facilitated the, 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 the things for the, the activity for me is called uh, Abdullah Kwe. That is the mm -hmm. guy who uh, motivated me to follow my uh, education to GDI. Yeah, that's wonderful to have such, a, you know, support and wow. So you, you worked before you went further with your education at the GTTI. Did that help you in your yes. studies? Did that help, you know, you, you had some practical approach already? Did that help you at the GTTI with the course? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I all have a, a background knowledge of uh, electrical installation. So that time I can wire install a house. So all those, uh, many of the things that in practical uh, field studies, I already know much of it. So mm -hmm. what I'm left with is the theory. So the theory, you know, this apprenticeship work, they cannot teach you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. how those things work. Exactly. To you. Yeah. So that is the thing I lack most. Okay. Yeah. So, and then the moment I did it, I also, yeah, many of the things also have been clear to me. Some of the doubts that I had are all clear now. Mm. Very interesting. Okay, cool, cool way to 
you know, start a career and start learning. Very, very interesting. So, Musa, what is your dream for the future? Any perfect job that you would love to get? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my dream for the future is uh, for the Gambia to have a sustainable uh, electricity, maybe a sustainable electricity from a uh, 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 sun that is from solar, because here we are very rich in uh, sun. So mm. yeah, when we have enough energy, when we have enough electricity, then that will create a lot of job opportunities. So to the young people here. So then, yeah, that is very important. And my dream job, uh, I want to be part of a uh, work on the NAVIC as of now. That is what, what is my aim to work there so that we can mm -hmm. see how best uh, to improve the electricity uh, demand of the country. Because at the moment, not all the part of the country have electricity. And then the, some of the parts that have electricity, they are not having enough electricity. So mm -hmm. how to work best so that those problems can be uh, eliminated or yeah or reduced so and mm -hmm. then we have a lot of energy here so that can be utilized so that yeah all those uh uh, uh things can be solved mm -hmm. yeah very interesting and a very good idea um so would you say after taking part in our solar intermediate course could you imagine now starting a career in solar so did it change a little bit your your view did you had another job in mind before doing our intermediate course or where you're like okay I, al I already knew I want to work in the field of electricity and sustainability but solar is giving me now you know a, a greater vision is it is it like that or were you always co convinced solar is my way <laughs> yeah the moment I, I did the course so I was very impressed. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy now. I, I, am, I am very happy to join the solar industry <laughs> because <laughs> I see like, uh, because solar is going. So because all the, uh, uh, all the, all the uh, uh, advanced worlds are going ahead of uh, renewable energy. So, so that, yeah, so that they can uh, renewable energy because it's very cheap, especially solar. So to produce energy from it is very, Cheap is yeah. So especially Gambia here. So electricity is very expensive. Mm -hmm. So when we have solar energy, so you, that that will improve the yeah the, the 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 standards of living of the people here. So yeah. I'm now prepared for the solar industry because yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so we sparked a fire there. Um, yeah. Then then I just go to the next question. What market segment or job segment would you be interested in the most? Um, do you think you can combine what you have learned at the GTTI and your you know, experience from the past and what you have learned with us at the Maxola Online Academy? Do you think you can combine those two things? Uh, the market segment that I like to be part of uh, is an uh, independent power producer, like Navi mm -hmm. that we have here. So mm -hmm. I want to force part of those people so that, yeah, if like the system that they are trying to implement in the Gambia, that is the on-grid system. So if that system works, so that's, I, I like to be, because solar is involved there. So I like to be part of that. Yeah. So, and then what I learned in GDT and then what I learned from you, you yeah, mm -hmm. they are old same they are all talking about electricity but then in different angle solar also have a different thing that you have to consider even if you are an electrician you study electrical installation but solar mm -hmm. also have specific things that you have to know so that mm -hmm. you can work with. so and then combining those things together so i am very uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh happy now very comfortable now yes i can combine the two can go together mm -hmm. because i already have the experience in installation now i also have experience in the solar so all those things yeah it can go together yeah i i think so too it's a winning match having the electrical uh, background to know a lot about electricity and all the wiring and stuff and then having the the knowledge about solar yeah it's, it's a very good combination i i agree oh then i then i yeah. you know i cross my fingers for navic <laughs> and that you get the job there um so you also <laughs> shared a very very interesting um news from the gambia from the qtv 
uh, on Friday, I think they uh, had uh, news about that um, the Gambia is going for more on-grid tight system as well with a big project. And I will try to show the video now so that we can have another question that's coming, yeah, combining what we are going to, to talk about next. Let me try to share my screen. <laughs> so, thank you for sharing that, first of all. Um, I think it's always very interesting to get news from other countries as well. So, can you see the screen? Just quick. The NAMA support project NSP and implementation partners on Thursday concluded a two-day retreat where they discussed plans to upscale the current NSP of 10.5 megawatt solar PV to 30 megawatts as part of the NSP rural electrification with renewable energy in the Gambia. Omar Pijalo reports. The aim of the NSP is to support the Gambia government meet its nationally determined contribution targets regarding the reduction of greenhouse gas emission by 47% in 2030 by Greek Connection Renewable Energy through an independent power producer, which will supply electricity in the North Bank and the Upper River region's electricity grids. UNDP and UNCDF are the national support organization to the projects, providing legal, technical and financial support. Lamin S. Yame, the NAMA project manager, said the key outputs of the NSP are direct reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, improving the capacity of NAWEC staff, improving the quality of life of the beneficiary communities, including poverty reduction. Sometime in 2016, 2017, the Minister of Environment and UNDP uh, co-applied uh, for a project under the NAMA facility, uh, which is a facility uh, at Bonn, uh, Germany, and they requested for funding for them to implement a renewable energy project that will reduce uh, emission reduction in the energy sector so that we can meet our nationally determined contribution, which is a commitment, commitment that uh, all the countries used to make uh, to determine how much of emission are they going to reduce by a specific timeline. al Haji Manjang, the Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Environment, said the Gambia commits to a 47% reduction in overall emission by 2030, which the NAMA project will help in achieving the NDC target within its first cycle. At the global level, we have a commitment under the Climate Change Convention to um, promote um, renewable energy. And uh, we have clearly articulated these um, clear targets in our nationally determined contribution as to what we seek to achieve for the next 25 to 50 years in the sustainable energy sector. Bakari L.M. Kante, NAWEX Group Projects and Planning Director, believe the successful implementation of the NAMA project will complement NAWEX efforts in providing reliable and affordable renewable energy supply in the targeted regions. The gains will be um, multifaceted. Um, for NAWEX, uh, our operational cost is when we are using um, fossil fuel and of course reliability because the engine breakdowns, you know, engines are moving parts unlike the solar installation which are moving part. So the dynamics are going to change. Of course it's going to add up to already what we have which means we'll have um, increased uh, um, capacity. The environmental impact uh, why you seen of course the Ministry of Environment being so much interested because uh, the uh, carbon uh, emission is, is going to be reduced uh, um, significantly by introduction of uh, renewable into our energy energy mix. So definitely there are a lot of um, gains that we expect when uh, such a project comes into being and is operating. This retreat will be followed by a negotiation and agreement signing between NAWEC and an independent power producer. The IPP will transfer the solar PV facilities to NAWEC after 20 years of implementation. The key national implementing partners are the Ministry of Environment, the Ministry of Petroleum and Energy, NAWEG, PURA, National Environment Agency, GAIPA, the Ministry of Lands and Regional Governance, the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Justice. Reporting for QTV News, I am Omar P. Jallo. So in the video, it said that a project called NAMA, I think, if I remember correctly, um, is, yeah, tell, yes. is telling that uh, the Gambia and NAVEC, especially, uh, this is your local power producer, right? Mm -hmm. The NAVEC. So that um, they also start to um, investing and installing on-grid type system. So this is something that we covered in the 
in our solar intermediate course and we were always talking about that the Gambia, as far as I remember, is uh, also more relying a little bit on the off-grid at, at, at the moment. So this were like really great news yeah. that you shared that Navek after, you know, after we did the course, <laughs> is also okay. now focusing on on grid and uh, knows that this can help bringing more electrification to the Gambia in general because we also had in our course a lot of power failures and people were really struggling with you know getting their devices uh, recharged and participating so I think it's a, it's a very good way forward and I'm looking forward to see how it's going but uh -huh. My question, Musa, because you are living in, in the Gambia, so what advantage do you see could solar power bring to you and your country? Yeah, Gambia is uh, different with yeah, enough sun, plenty sun. So in Gambia here, we, 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 we experience a lot of sun. So by using solar, so we, we can produce a lot of energy from that. So this can reduce our, our, our amount of fossil fuel we are burning. So mm -hmm. solar is very important in the Gambia here. So, and then the other thing is that, uh, so this solar industry also will reduce the cost of uh, spending on electricity. So if you, if, if you, if you install on grid system in your home, so the amount of money that you have to spend on buying uh, gas power will be reduced. So Gambia is very uh, uh, different with uh, uh, sun. So this can, if this is utilized, then the poverty will be eradicated mm. uh, in the Gambia. So it's very important. Yeah, I agree. I read many, many studies on how electrification, you know, is uh, reducing poverty and supporting the healthcare uh, sector. So, you know, hospitals yeah. and stuff don't face bad power failure or have to rely on diesel generators or something so yeah i so it's, it's wonderful to hear and thank you again for sharing the great news <laughs> about uh, gambia going in the direction of renewable energy and really it, i'm very much looking forward to see how that goes um i have some more questions so it's now more a little bit back to our course. Um, did you enjoy learning online or would you prefer more face-to-face -face training or would you say, ah, oh, both were fine. So what do you prefer? Yeah, this is my first time of uh, having online classes. Mm -hmm. So, and then I have little, friends with uh, the, the, the site or uh, the site that is that is the 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 normal way of uh, learning so it is different yeah but then for me uh, the difference doesn't matter so as long as education is constant I'm understanding the way the person if person uh, stands in front of me what you're explaining I will understand on 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 the on the Online also, I understand. So I have no problem with that. So mm -hmm. yeah, I even see online uh, even more convenience than the other, the other way around, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. So you could, because you could stay at home, for example, or at a more quiet uh, place where you could concentrate on the learning. Yeah, okay. So yeah. one uh, more question, um, but I, I remember that you also studied on your smartphones. Is that right? Or did you use your laptop, yeah. mm, the smartphone? I, I, have, I have mm -hmm. smartphone. I have laptop also. Ah, yeah. Because I was wondering how how it was looking at a very small screen and still following our live online training. But it doesn't. It did not seem to be any any way challenging because you you were always very interactive. You were able to you know participate with your smartphone, and I think that was great. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so would you would you say also if it's a little bit struggle, but still it was totally fine learning from the smartphone? Yeah, I use my smartphone. Yeah, so I did not have any problem with the smartphone. So yeah, because the smartphone is uh, clear, the smartphone is good, the internet connection also yeah is good. So yeah, I did not have any problem with the smartphone. 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Musa, because we are always interested, you know, what works best and if there's something challenging for our participants as well. Um, so last but not least, as we think, this could be a wonderful platform for you to promote yourself. If, if you could right now address your future employer or the company of your dream, what would you tell them why they should hire you? Uh, yes. Uh, as of now, my future, my, uh, the future, like uh, the future of the Gambia, what I'm expecting in the future is that to, be, to have uh, enough uh, electricity. Because like, if you don't have enough electricity, development cannot go without electricity. So, and then if electricity, we have enough electricity, this will uh, create job opportunity to the young people here. So electricity first thing is very important. So I will, I will send my message to Navik so that what they are working on, let them continue working on that. Because in the future, it will create a lot of job opportunity to the young people. And then it will make electricity very cheap to the local people here. So, and then this will open a lot of industries, investments, investment will come. So if there is no electricity, no enough electricity in the country. So how do you expect other investors to come from outside and invest in your country. So it will be very difficult. So let them work on that so that if electricity is sustained, then everything will be easy. Yeah, so that is what I have. <laughs> That's a wonderful message. And I really hope Navik is listening in and giving young people like you a really, really, really eager and so enthusiastic. And I was always very much impressed by how much you know energy you put in the course and how how determined everybody worked on all the assignments and were punctual and i was really really impressed so navek listen young electrician is waiting <laughs> to rock the solar industry in uh, gambia and yeah musa what can i say thank you thank you so much for the interview today i wish you all the best really for the future for your career whatever you do and wherever it may take you all the best and of course right. never stop learning <laughs> we were happy and grateful that you were part of our course maybe we see each other in a future course as well would be amazing yeah send my greetings to everybody thank you very much bye thank you <laughs> bye